start uh, chapter 14. Chapter 14 concerns the topics that I have written here. Fluids, pressure, so we'll define what pressure is, density. When you do fluids, a lot of times you, what you want to do is uh, work with the density of a fluid or a gas. And so you have Pascal's principle, Archimedes's principle, and Bernoulli's equation. So uh, Pascal's principle and Archimedes's principle fall under the category of uh, fluid statics. And then uh, Bernoulli's equation falls under fluid dynamics, uh, flowing fluids. Okay, so let's start with uh, uh, pressure and density. <coughs> So pressure basically is defined as force over area, okay? Just like force is a vector, pressure is a vector also. A lot of times you don't see the vector sign on it, but it's assumed to be a vector because it has direction. Uh, if you have a certain uh, a fluid, let's say water, in a certain tank, water exerts pressure on all sides of the tank. So of course, just like force has pr uh, direction, pressure should have direction too. So let's talk about a little bit about the units of pressure. In the, uh, there's several different units of pressure. We have newtons per meter squared. That's the standard matrix SI units of pressure. And that one is abbreviated as the Pascal. So short for the short for Pascal is just PA. Okay, so uh, it's Newton per meter squared. Several other versions of um, of the uh, <coughs> pressure is pounds per square inch. That's common in America. It's the it's a British unit system. Pounds per square inch, and it's also written a lot as psi. So you, you see that a lot, PSI, PSI, pounds per square inch, okay? And uh, then we'll talk about the conversion between these. The other units of our atmosphere are one, basically one atmosphere, which is the sea level atmosphere of the Earth. So we could compare the atmosphere of other planets. For example, we could say Venus's atmosphere is 90 atmospheres, so the, the surface, uh, pressure of Venus is 90 atmospheres, so that means it's 90 times the pressure of the Earth's surface pressure. Uh, that's, this is also written as one bar. Again, a different uh, unit, one bar, but it's the same as one atmosphere. Uh, also, uh, you use this quite a bit in uh, chemistry. The other unit is millimeter, uh, millimeters of mercury millimeters of mercury. In other words, how many millimeters of mercury will that atmosphere sustain and hold up? Okay, so uh, so now let's talk about the what is one atmosphere? What is the sea level atmosphere on the surface of the Earth? One atmosphere uh, on, for Earth, and we can compare other atmospheres to that, in the, in the standard matrix unit system, 1.013 times 10 to the fifth pascals. So that's the pressure at the surface, at the sea level pressure, at the surface of the Earth. You could, you could also say it this way, uh, take this two, this way, 101.3 times 10 to the third, I went over twice and subtracted two from the power. So I could say 101.3 kilopascals. One oh one point three kilopascals. So that's a good way of saying it. The other way is 14.7 pounds per square inch. So again, this is uh, used a lot for 14.7 psi. Uh, so in other words, every square inch of a certain object, every square inch of your body 
every square inch has a force of 14.7 pounds on it from all sides, okay, pushing you. Well, the total force is zero, of course, so that's why you can move your hands. You don't feel that, okay? But if all of a sudden I were to suck one portion of the air out, this, the air would push you in so much, okay? Uh, so, and then in terms of um, uh, millimeters mercury, this would be equal to 760 millimeters mercury or 76 centimeters of mercury. So it would hold up 760 millimeter or 76 centimeters of a mercury tube, okay? We don't use this one as much in physics. It's used quite a bit more in chemistry. Um, okay, uh, we could, from this we could learn what's the conversion between them. So if I were to say uh, one, if I divide this, uh, we say 14.7, PSI is equal to 101.3 kilopascal. That means one PSI is equal to what? So let's just do that so we can have a little conversion between them. 101.3 divided by 14.7, 6.89. Okay, so one PSI, one pound per square inch, is equivalent to 6.89 kilopascals from that conversion, you can see. Okay, so now let's talk about how pressure increases uh, in a fluid as you go to various heights along that fluid. So if I wanted to know, uh, so let's write this section as pressure variation, pressure variation, versus height, or we can say pressure variation versus depth, how deep you go in the fluid or how high you go, but it's the same thing, you know. So let's say if you have a certain column of fluid, okay, so if I want to know the pressure here, if I know the pressure there, what's the pressure here, okay? so. Let's say the pressure there is uh, P. It's a, lot, a lot of times it's written as P0. Okay? And therefore the pressure here will be greater. The reason why is because this column of fluid, now this could be air, it could be any kind of gas, it could be water, it could be oil, it could be mercury, anything. So imagine a three-dimensional picture. So it could be any kind of fluid, liquid, gas, anything. So when I say fluid, it just means either liquid or gas, okay? So what's the pressure down here? Pressure at the bottom. Well, it's going to be equal to, see you have a lot of weight here, right? So this weight is going to be acting upon the pressure here. Uh, so we have uh, pressure at the bottom equals pressure zero, or we could write pressure at top, plus how much weight you have, which is mg, right? The mg <coughs> is gonna add weight to that, so that's like your force. Remember the basic definition of pressure is what? is the distribution of the force per surface area, per, uh, per cross-sectional surface area. So you're dividing how much force per cross-sectional surface area. So I'm gonna divide that weight, so this is the force, I'm gonna divide that weight by this area, the cross-sectional surface area of the column, okay? Not this area, the area facing us, but it's the area of the cross section, okay? So divide that by the area. So that's kind of where the idea comes from. But it's usually not written this way, okay? So here we go with the definition of density. A lot of times, instead of saying the mass of a fluid, I want to know its density. 
the concentration of that mess.